So today's teaching uh, requires some unpacking. Uh, you need to know a few things. First off, that in the Old Testament, uh, when they said an eye for an eye, what it meant is that there should be justice in the world. That if, if somebody takes out your eye, you're not allowed to go and chop their heads off. You can only have an eye in return. If someone uh, knocks your tooth out, you can have one of their teeth knocked out. You can't go and, uh, you know, smash the whole face in and break their jaw. You know, there must be justice, not vengeance, not retribution. Um, some other things you need to know is that in, the, in, uh, in, in, in Jesus' day, in the Roman world, uh, a Roman soldier could force you to walk, to carry their heavy packs for one mile, just one mile. And then, then you got let off. You'd have to walk back where you came from. And uh, the Romans would pick on someone else to, to take the heavy loads. And um, also it was illegal to, to force someone to, to sell their cloak. It's like, uh, it's like insurance so that even the poor would have a cloak to sleep under and to keep them warm. And so when Jesus says, you've heard that it said an eye for an eye, but I say, don't resist an evil person. He says, uh, turn, turn the other cheek. He says, if don't just walk one mile, but when, when you're told to, but walk two, go the extra mile. Uh, he says, uh, if someone sues you for your tunic, for your under, you know, your, your T-shirt, uh, give them your cloak as well. All of your security, give it to them. He says here, don't resist an evil person. Now, that's really hard. If somebody hurts you in some way to say, okay, I'm going to be open hearted and generous. And I've, you, you we're coming on to tomorrow to the worst, well, the, the best the most radical of Jesus' teaching of all to love your enemies. This is kind of like getting us ready for it, psyching us up for it, that we must turn the other cheek um, because we have an inner strength that comes from Jesus. Not because we're doormats, not because we don't realise there's a, a, a risk in this, uh, not because we're not standing up against violence and abuse in the world, but because we have an inner trust and strength in God that means it's okay to be wronged by other people because we have that strength from the Lord inside. Give to the one who asks without wanting back. So how, we trust God to provide for what we need to keep us safe and strong in him. Radical teaching, not an eye for an eye. But yes, justice says you can have that. But, but you follow Jesus who says, turn the other cheek. Good luck with that one. It's not the easiest of teachings.